Uh, I see your hand up. I'll call on you. Uh, if I understand, sir, you, you, you have a cane. Uh, you'll be second and you'll be third. If anybody else is raised fourth, fifth, then I'm going to ask folks, if they don't mind, if they can, to stand uh, in the line behind this gentleman here. Uh, and uh, you won't be third, sir. You can come right up to the up to the up to the chair. Um, okay, so I, I'll trust folks can uh, respect each other's place in line. Okay. Sir? David Crawford, um, team, model sheet. Um, I just want to say don't do this, please. Um, there's no need for this ordinance. Uh, um, there's, there's a guy in this room that got hurt, and uh, yeah, there was a name put on the, uh, put in a couple of places. An associate of his, of hers, Doria. Mr. Mary. Crawford, uh, I'm uh, going to ask you somebody. to focus. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, He's not caught yet, and everybody knows uh, full well who he Mr. is. Mr. Crawford, I'm going to ask you to, to please pause a second. We are discussing whether or not uh, we should have an enforceable graffiti ordinance. Uh, I don't want to get too far into behaviors or alleged or unalleged incidents. Okay. So if you can focus on why you don't, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you stated you don't want to see a review. Yeah, I don't want this ordinance. I think that what we need is for people to behave themselves and not unpack others and allow each other to have free speech. Um, we already have laws regarding uh, assaults and we should be enforced. Thank you. Sir? Matthew Ferrari, Adam Street, King, Texas. My military, my family has served in the military since World War II. That monument being marked up is a slap in the face to everyone I served with and everyone we lost. And with this ordinance, it can stop that. I mean, we hold every monument like it's a grave at Arlington. And it's a little bit of getting them back by seeing them. And seeing graffiti on these things is unbelievable. It, it invokes rage, but we hold it in and we don't react. But it's not fair to us after everything we've been through to have that. I mean, what's the difference between them being on the lawn and going to so get away with it because there's no warnings. And it's just a slap in the face for me and all my brothers and sisters. Sir? Good evening, my name is Matthew Overshaw Sr., 14 Kansas Street of Keene, New Hampshire. I am the president of the Free Party Union in Keene, New Hampshire here, which is the offset of the Occupy Group. And before I get any further detail, I'd like to apologize about the monument that was me. I was spoken to by a police officer, and they have not been marked since for the fact that I did not know about this. I washed it off myself, and I apologize. To go on, my group um, had sponsored a community event through the UCC and a couple other members that are in this group that are in the town of Keene. My group supports the welfare of the community within the community, to support the community for the community by a local we support certain things like this. I held a community event for the community and families so the community can get to know each other. And first we talked about history. Keene's history also involves a lot to do with the art. We're well known for our elaborate artists that have come through here in this town. People that have shown a great deal and contributed art to our lives. My group went out in a positive aspect for three days before an incident we get actually assaulted, but I'm not going to talk about this. However, we went around doing positive art, positive sayings. And yes, we went around all over to do it. I had quite a few family members of people who are disabled physically and mentally through MFS that we noticed going around during the days. And then one day, on the 2nd of May, I got told that what I was doing was inspirational of these people. 
These people don't have much to look forward to. They can't even get them to go to Keene if they're lucky once a week. And for that, during that week of us going around doing inspirational chalk and artwork and beautiful positive sayings, the lady said to me, you're an inspiration to these people for they want to come to town, they want to see the beautiful artwork. And we've inspired 42 of these handicapped people through MFS that we've improved the daily lives of them just through art. So it gave me the opportunity to say, why don't we host a community event with some people in the community to get the community to know who people are and have children and families chalk some beautiful art for them. What a better way to get them to it. Everybody can get together on music, people can get together on politics. Who is that to say people can't get together on art? Now there's always a few bad apples that come about from this. There's always going to be a few people that are going to be redlined. As of my mistake for a monument, for an example, I was talked about it, warned, and I apologized and I took care of it myself. And this should be enforced, granted. If someone's doing what he calls graffiti, I consider that offensive, as an offensive saying, or a middle finger say was drawn. I would find that offensive, and those people should be held accountable. <coughs> However, if someone is around doing positive artwork, children get together with the UCC or any other church for that matter that stands behind, why can't we use this on a positive aspect to improve the nature of our town? 